Hey guys, Cam Ken Drum here. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of recording today. Uh, I wanna do at least two or three covers. I've got a vacation coming up, so I wanna make sure that you guys have all the content that you need while I'm gone, so that you don't really miss a beat. You're always uh, getting that Cam Ken Drum fix that you're uh, coming back to for more and more and more. So today's gonna be a bunch of recordings. I got in the mail from Sweetwater this uh, bass drum hole cutter. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you my process. I've never used it before. I I don't really know what to expect or even how to use it. I'm gonna kind of go through that whole experience with you for other people that have never used the, the, the hole cutter before. In my experience, what I've done is usually I've taken the head out of the box. I've pretty much just kind of hand cut a circle with like an X-Acto knife or some sort of razor blade or whatever. And it's usually pretty bad, but then I'll cover that hole with one of those uh, O-ring sticker things and you, really can't tell the difference. So this thing, supposedly you're able to make a, a nice perfect circle and you, you can do it um, different diameters too. So let's see how this thing works. Right now, I don't have any hole in my bass drum. And even though I like the way that it sounds recorded, it's really boomy and it's uh, got a lot of low and mid in there. I'm really missing that punch, the attack that you get when you have the microphone inside right next to the, the batter head. So I really want to get that back and I think this is one way to do it is to use the, this bass drum O-hole cutter thing. So I'm going to turn the camera around, I'll show it to you guys and show you how to do it or maybe how not to do it. Who knows? We'll see. All right. There's my beautiful drum set. Let me zoom out all the way and uh, you can see my bass drum. My Audix A6 microphone that's about, I'd say, three quarters of an inch away from the drum head. So yeah, it gets a, a nice boomy sound with a lot of mids and a lot of lows, and I really like the way that it sounds. And I'm actually thinking uh, maybe later down the line when I expand my eight channels to... Uh, more channels. I'll put a mic on this resonant head as well as having a mic on the inside. But for now, I'm really jonesing the, the punch, the attack of the bass drum and the mic right near the, the batter side. So I'm going to be using this thing and it's called the hole cutter, bass drum hole reinforcement system. Bass drum O's? I don't know. I really can't tell what the company's name is with that logo design. It's kind of a weird one. I don't know if it's just bass drums or bass drum O's. Oh yeah, there we go, bass drum O's. In the bag, you can see there's a bunch of different circles. I have no idea uh, what all this means. So we're gonna find out together. Okay, so there it is, out of the package. We've got this thing, and we've also got this thing. I don't know where the focus is. This looks like maybe you, um, maybe you find where your the center of your circle is and just puncture it, and then you probably once the bass drum head is punctured, this thing probably cuts it. There's a little, right there, there's a, a blade, I guess. This is probably for the radius. There's no markings or anything to show what the size is, but I'm guessing that if it's on the first one, you probably have, uh, I would say, an inch or two inch hole. Maybe this is a three inch hole. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or is that 20? Because this is a diameter. Ugh. No idea. I'm not, the, I'm not the brightest when it comes to geometry. Okay, let's try this. I think it's somewhat self-explanatory. I'm going to move my mic away. Oh, everything is just all nice and tangled here. So I think a good spot would be... Oh, it pains me to do that, but there's no going back now. Oh, I think I'm going to do on the fourth... Should I do the fourth circle? Yeah, I'm going to do the fourth circle. One, two, three, four... Put that in there, okay. So now this thing's on the fourth circle, and then let's see if we can. It's not really cutting, is it? Well, I mean, <laughs> it didn't cut, but that is pretty much. Is that the size I want, or do I want a size bigger? Maybe I'll go one bigger. I'll go to the fifth hole. There we go. Let's check that out. Yeah, this is... I'm not quite sure how it's actually gonna cut. Um, it's definitely not 
sharp enough to cut. I don't know if I gotta just keep on doing it until it cuts it out, but I definitely won't be able to do it with one hand. But I think this bigger one is a, is the better diameter. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep going around and around and around and around and see if it just cuts open. And if it does, uh, great. If not, I don't know, I'm gonna have a dented head, I guess. There we go. I All I had to do is just push a little bit harder. And yeah, it's cutting nicely. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. Look at that beautiful DW head. Ruined. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, pretty mad. I'm glad I got this on video because I don't think I did anything wrong. Maybe if I would have had two hands going, but uh, I don't, you know, I don't think that would have really mattered. And there's no directions in the thing. As you can see, all that... Oh wait, hold on. Here we go. There's something here. Cutting instructions. Remove drum head. Place drum head pre preferably face down on cardboard or poster board on a hard surface. Select the location on the drum head. Where the okay, so yeah, I guess it does make sense to <laughs> have the drum head off of the drum on the ground on something that you don't care that gets marked up. Ugh. See, folks, this is why you read the directions first and look at all of the packaging before coming to the false conclusion that there was no instructions. I mean, it's really easy to do, right? I mean, you saw me open up the thing. There was nothing in the bag but the product. And it's really easy to just dismiss that there's anything printed on the backside. But there they are. There are the instructions. I failed to read them. I thought that you could just do it while... The drum head is on the drum. I'm wrong. I messed this nice, beautiful drum head up. So now not only am I gonna have to do what I should have done in the first place, which was take the drum off, but now I gotta replace it with another drum head, which I don't think I have a resonant head actually. I think I have just a backup batter head. Let me see. I think I have one for my 20 and one for my 22. So this is the 22 inch batter that came with the set. I can't use that for the front. I mean, I could, but it would look so boring and plain. Yeah, and this is the 20 inch Power Stroke 3 coated, which I love on that drum right there. So I, Thought I ha I thought I would be lucky and have an extra, but I was gonna record like three or four songs today too. Dang it! Let me see if this will work. If I can use this. Oh yeah, I could probably use this. Let's see. I mean, it's clear. It might be. I don't know, it might look kind of silly. I just love the way that that white head looks on the piano black. Oh, what a shame. I know if I keep that on there, it's going to be flapping and it's going to be annoying. If I cut that hole so that it looks like a teardrop, I don't know, maybe that'll work. It'll be kind of weird. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it. I got some scissors right here now that the uh, most of the circle is done. I mean, the drum, the head's ruined anyway, right? So, might as well at least try to salvage it. Somehow, I don't know, maybe. Okay, let's see. There. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty lame. All right, let me get this bass drum cutter out of here. Okay. Ugh. All right. Okay. Let me turn the camera back on me. All right, so. <laughs> 
what uh what an experience right doofus me here messing the whole thing up probably would have worked perfectly if i would have read the, the directions or the instructions uh what a nice perfect hole uh in a nice drum head but i rushed and wanted to just you know do it the the, the lazy man's way i didn't want to take off my drum head because you know that's a kind of a pain in the butt and i thought oh this is a great way to just cut a hole in something that's already on there but no uh as you can see in the video <laughs> it didn't work out the way i planned it to so i the, the product is is a great product i i can see how it would work perfectly it would cut a nice perfect hole for your bass drum your front bass drum head but yeah make sure to do it on a head that's not on the drum and also make sure to cover your floor or your desk or table or whatever before you do it because you really have to put a lot of force into puncturing that head and if it's on your floor or on your desk it's going to leave a mark for sure i would give it a thumbs up give the bass drum cutter a thumbs up the bass drum cutter operator a thumbs down <laughs> and uh i'm gonna have to make do with this teardrop pole i guess until i can get a new front bass drum head there's that <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, and uh, if you're ever considering buying that drum hole cutter, drum o hole, drum hole o cutter, whatever it's called, uh, yeah, go ahead and do so. I think it's going to be great. Alrighty, take care. Cam can drum. Sayonara.